Last year, Frontier Girls Volleyball was a certifiable juggernaut. 26-0, Division III state champions, four All-State honorees, wins over each of the two other state champions. Frontier was the best team in the state of Massachusetts. But after losing three of those four All-Staters, plus a handful of other key members of the team to graduation, many thought 2011 would be a rebuilding year for the Red Hawks. Well, rebuilding or not, they won Western Mass once again with ease, then swept their way through the state semis to earn yet another berth in the state title game. But today, their opponent case, the same team Frontier played last year for the state title, was ready. And Case didn't graduate any of their starters from last year's state finalists, so the Red Hawks had a seriously tall task to overcome if they wanted a second straight state title. Frontier, number 11 in the state. Case, number 10 in the state, and a huge matchup for the D3 state title. And Case came out on fire. Lindsey Boulay with the kill, tied at eight in the first set. Brianna Sousa with the kill, 10-9 Case with the lead. In the first set, the Cardinals came out on fire, but Frontier would fight back. Kate Harper, her progression over the course of the late portions of the season, a huge part of the reason why Frontier was here today, but Case would close out the first set. Jen Cabral with the kill, 25-23 Case in the first set. Second set, Frontier would answer. Cassidy Stankowski, the best player in the state of Massachusetts. She's only a junior. Aces, back to back. That's not an instant replay as she finds the corner. Then Harper getting in on the action once again. Another one of those clever little tips over the outstretched arms of the defense, and Frontier was in control. And then on top of that, Marie Wheeler. With the ace, 25-18, Frontier takes the second set. Third set, it was all case. Sousa, after an excellent dig right there off the attempt from Cassidy Stankowski to get the tip down, Sousa with the kill, then Boulay with a kill of her own, and then Marie Wheeler. The frustration was starting to set in for Frontier. This serve comes up just a little bit short, and you can see the aggravation starting to set in for the Red Hawks. They lose the third set. 25-17, but in the fourth set, Frontier trying to come back. The frustration would continue. Stankowski, the, the, the uh, serve rather, comes up well short, hits her own player, and then Case continues to play well. Shannon Orton with the kill. Case led 18-15. More frustration. Stankowski again a short serve. Frontier down 21-17. Case just four points away from taking the state title away. But Frontier would respond. Wheeler with the kill. 21-19. Courtney Parrott with the ace. 21-20. And then who else? Cassidy Stankowski comes on to close it out. The kill right here makes it 24-all. And then on match point, rather on a set point here in the fourth set, the block from Stankowski, 26-24. Frontier comes all the way back in the fourth set to win that fourth set and tie it up at two sets apiece. And look at the celebration. It's like they won the match already, but they still had the fifth set to deal with. And they came out on fire in the fifth set, did Frontier. The block there by Julia Wan, as well as Marie Wheeler. And then Stankowski with kills back-to-back, four-zip. Frontier would jump out on top and look at the excitement from Stankowski on this one. All different kinds of fired up. Four zip. Frontier leads early on in the fifth set, but Case would battle back. Jen Cabral with the kill. Then Shannon Orton would make a kill of her own. 8-7. Uh, Case would have the lead. They actually were the first to eight as they would switch sides. But in the second half of that fifth set, Frontier had it going. Courtney Parent with the kill. Frontier just had it when it mattered most. Stankowski with an absolutely filthy kill. Case with no chance at returning that one. And then on state championship point, Julia Wan serving for the match. And Case can't send it back over the net. Frontier comes all the way back. They were just two points away from losing in that fourth set but they win it 3-2, a huge win for Frontier, and you can see the emotion from these juniors and seniors. They wanted this one bad. It means so much. It means we're the state champs two years in a row, and that's, that's a great feeling. And then being a senior and winning it twice, it, it's indescribable. I can't tell you how happy I am right now. We got each other back up. We really focused on team and keeping each other up and we just got the momentum and went with it. It is literally the most amazing feeling I've ever felt in my life. I had no clue if we were going to win or lose. They're a great team, we're a great team, and it just, it's amazing. It was ridiculous. Everybody had so much energy. I know I was going absolutely insane. Um, my teammates were too, and it was just a great feeling.
Unbelievable emotion after this one. And look at this. Everybody's T-bone. Huge win for Frontier back-to-back -back state champions. Not a long medal. The Lancers perpetually fantastic. But this year, instead of just winning Western Mass, which is practically their annual birthright, the Lancers won a state semifinal for just the second time ever. Now, back in 2009, on their way to their first ever state title game, the bus broke down on the way there. Not exactly the best omen. They lost to Acton Boxborough in that game 3-zip. This year, no bus issues. And in fact, it was Long Metal that showed up and came out flying the Lancers, looking for their first ever state championship. And early on, they had a couple of scoring chances. Here, Catherine Ryan to Aaron O'Connor, the shot. Uh, denied by Kate Farnham as it's deflected away, then off the penalty corner. Leah Weiner with the shot, but it was a dangerous play, and it would go back to Andover later in the first. The Longmeadow defense was fantastic. Lizzie Sushana, 16 saves on the day, 12 of them in the first half, but unfortunately for the Lancers, Andover would finally break through. Kate Farnham to Megan Keefe, and then Julie LeBlanc is the one who tapped it in right there. One zip, Andover with the win. Tough way for the season to end for Long Meadow, but still a fantastic season is for just the second time ever they make it to the state finals. I'm very, 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 very proud of my team, especially the seniors, because we always say we'll go as far as the seniors take us, and they took us to the state championship. I felt really great to make it back to states this year. Um, all of our seniors are so proud, and our whole team is so proud of it. We lost a lot of great seniors last year, so no one thought we could make it this far this year. So it was really great to prove to everyone that we did make it this far, and we only lost to one nothing to the defending state champions. That's amazing. Definitely try and get back to Western Mass and try to come back here because I think we showed everyone today that we can play with teams out this way. Um, another extra bounce or a couple less whistles, you never know. Certainly the case for Long Meadow, very, very close to their first ever state championship. But congratulations, just the same, a heck of a season for them. And certainly congratulations to Frontier, their first, their uh, second consecutive and fourth ever state championship. And you can see it all on our website, of course, WGGB.com. Just click on the sports page.